Hey guys, how are you today? Good. Well, today I am in the pantry and I was just going to do a quick little touch up. I know it's not much to really organize. Looking at it, it's not much. Um, that's in disarray. <laughs> but um, we're just going to, you know, wiggle things around some and just slide things around. I see a lot of people do a lot of like pantry or fridge organizing videos and I absolutely love that. And I'm like, you know what? Let me try do mine. I mean, there's not even much in here to begin with, but <laughs> all right. Well, if you want to go ahead and see me just tighten up my pantry, then keep watching. Thank you. <laughs> got these from Christmas when we were decorating little Christmas cookies. Yeah, they're no good to eat anymore, but they were so cute. So we just kept them just for a little decoration. They're just like little candy sugar sprinkles. See? So pretty. <laughs> And these are just little snacks like um, instead of me getting like cookies or like ice cream or something I just been um, buying and snacking on these so I mean they're not like the tastiest ever but it's still something to get a, a nice little sweet fix on there and they're really good for you and they're so adorable and cute so you know they're good for babies they're probably good for me a big baby <laughs> This is empty. This was um, a gift from my husband's boss and there were three in there even though it says two. I used it in um, one of the chocolate testing videos but the bag is so adorable so we're gonna keep it for now. Husband's like throw it away and I'm like no way this is so cute. Look how little it is. It's adorable. It was for Valentine's. <laughs> these were also from my boss well for my husband from his boss these will be perfect for like a movie night we don't really eat much or buy much uh, of these but these are so good I used to eat them all the time take them to the movies that's where it's at we keep our little like bags here from like Target, like this is a Target bag and from like Kroger. We just keep them in. I don't even know where I got this. This is like a cereal container. I don't even know where I got it from. It's from my mom or from like a friend. But yeah, so we keep our bags in here just in case you need one for like, I don't know, like garbage or for like taking a bunch of stuff for like a picnic or something. You just take them from there. <laughs> And then we have the Pike Place Roast. Now these are really cool. So I don't drink coffee, this is for my husband, but he gets them from Amazon. I wanna say they're like, mm, somewhere between like 40-ish like dollars or so, I'd have to check. But um, he gets a four pack of these. So in one pack, there are 24 of these. But then they come in a box and you get four of these for that price. So it's really, really good price. Let's say between 40 and 50, somewhere around there. But yeah, we just get them from Amazon. It just seems to always be the cheaper place. Chips. I love these so much. Like a dive of chocolate. We still have those, surprisingly. <laughs> so these are from December. We got them from Costco. And um, yeah, my husband's like, these will be gone in like a week. No, no way. 
but they have milk chocolate. Um, there's caramel and there is the hazelnut chocolate in here too. So like every other day or every couple days, we'll like each have one and um, it'll just be like a little sweet treat. <laughs> oh yeah, so normally we don't buy stuff like this because I can't control myself. And back in the day, I could polish off this bag literally in like two sittings, I'm not even kidding. But my husband like really, really, really wanted it. But look, we're already in month three. Well, actually we've had it for about four months. And then there's still at least half the bag in there, if not um, two thirds the bag. So we're doing good. We're in, all in moderation. <laughs> and then my husband has three of these grape jellies. It says used by April 11th. There's like no way he's had, oh my gosh, I told him to use these. And then here is my husband's cereal. So it's honey bunches of oats and every night he refills it and then he eats the good ones off the top and then these just sit on the bottom. So I don't think he ever gets to it and it looks like crumbs on the bottom. I don't know, it's just this weird little way of um, eating that, but whatever. <laughs> and then he has some noodles here, about six of these. Um, so it takes about seven minutes to boil and actually let me leave this box out because I should make him a whole nother set because he's running low. So he just eats them like that. He doesn't add any like seasoning or spices or sauces to them. He just uh, boils them and then divides them by six and six little dishes and then eats one a day. I could never do it. I'm a saucy girl. I love sauce. I love extra sauce. Um, pretty much any sauce, like red sauce or white sauce, um, extra and dips. I'm big on dips, like barbecue. Um, I love ranch. I love jalapeno ranch. I love um, ketchup, like everything, everything. Saucy girl. <laughs> and then down here, we have some V8s. You guys, this is so yummy. Like if you need that sugar fix, but you don't want like to take in a lot of calories, this is 50 calories per can. And they're like everywhere. They're like at Walmart and Target. They're so delicious. If you like peach mango, you should try it. So it has like caffeine in it. I don't really have, I don't really like use caffeine or like anything, but it's the sugar in here that I'm addicted to. And every now and then I will um, have one of these and then, you know, you won't feel bad because it's only 50 calories. And it should, you know, make you feel awake because of all the caffeine and stuff. But I don't know. I don't know if I really tell a difference, but they're really good. Even warm. Like we have some in the pantry and some in the fridge. They both taste the same good. I couldn't wait the other day for ice or for it to be cold. So I just like took one back warm. It was so good. And it's a V8. So it has servings of veggies and fruit in there for you. So you should try it. It's pretty good. And then next to it, I have one Progresso soup. So it says macaroni and bean. So I always like to have at least like seven of these on hand. Right now I have three because I'm like eating them all. And that way I can get like all brand new ones. But um, they're they're really good. I like the split pea soup one. It has like, I want to say like ham in there. They have like noodle ones, chicken. Um, there's like with carrots and vegetables as well. So if you're really hungry at night and you don't want to cook anything, just um, throw one of these in the microwave. Well, not in here, you know, pour it in a glass bowl, put it in the microwave. And it's about what, like 350 per can calories right there. I mean, it has a lot of sodium. I mean, these days, what doesn't? But um, it's still, you know, a healthier option than going to McDonald's, which I love and I used to do all the time, but we have to pull back. <laughs> all right. So over on this side, I have all my teas. And so there's green tea. There's sleepy time, honey bear tea. We have more green tea. There is an immune zoom tea. So if you're feeling like if your throat is a little off or if you're you just need like a boost or anything this supports immune function and it is lemon ginger and it says seasonal wellness on there so we've had this for a couple years we don't use it much but whenever you're feeling a little iffy and be a good go-to and then next to it is the throat comfort so if your throat is sore you guys have to try this 
this always does the trick, at least for me. Um, and it's popular too, because in the whole row of teas there, this one's always the one that just has a couple left and you always see it like hanging off the shelves. Like someone just grabbed it and just like left it there like, hey, pick me. But yeah, Throat Comfort by Yogi soothes the throat. It really does. And then you can add some honey in there um, and then some lemon if you have, and um, you should be feeling better in no time. <laughs> And then behind there is a pure peppermint tea and then another sleepy bear tea. So I will um, dive into the peppermint tea on the last day of the 45 day cleanse, which is early next week. So like Monday, I think Wednesday is the last day we can weigh in. So Monday or Tuesday, um, I'll go ahead and have a peppermint tea the night before. That way it kind of like, you know, expels all the water. So I'm trying to drink in 13 cups of water a day, at least for 44 of the 45 days. Yeah, that way the last day there's not much water in there because water weighed in and all that. But yeah, I'm telling you, if you want to lose weight, the best way is just to drink a bunch of water. Fill your Contigo cup, you know, the one that has like three cups in there. Just keep having it full. Like if once you drink it, just fill it back up and put it around the house. And then when it's there, you just drink it and the weight will just fall off. Like that's all I drink in the house. If I really, really, really want something sweet, I'll have like a sip of cranberry juice, just like a sip, or like, you know, like a cup of orange juice every now and then as a treat when I do like eggs and hash browns in the morning. And um, yeah, other than that, just always water and then green tea every other day I try to do in there because that cleans everything out as well, like your liver, runs through your kidneys, and it's just, you just feel good. I mean, it doesn't taste the best, but I mean, you know, not all the good things do, but the good things for you, um, you know, <laughs> they may, um, not taste the best in general, but I don't know. Fruits are good, but yeah. So we have these and then I have darn good chili. So if you like chili, you guys need to try this. So I get them at Kroger and, um, I always get them like three or four at a time. Like if there's, say there's like five in there, I always take like three or four, I always leave one for, cause I don't want to be that person that comes in there with that craving and then like someone took all of them didn't leave me any so i always leave a couple behind one or two at least just depending on like how much is there and all you have to do is add water to this add um one little itty bitty can of tomato paste like this i got stocked up on these two <laughs> so you need one bag of this one tomato paste and seven cups of water. I'm a pro at this now because this is a treat. This is delicious. And it's just me who eats it in the last six or seven days. And then, um, so. I've added tomato paste and seven cups of water to your shopping list. Thank you, Alexa. <laughs> so, um, also with this, you'd, um, you'd prepare, um, a cup of ground, a cup, um, a pound of ground beef. And then um, once that's all ready and like season, I mean, season the ground beef with this from Kroger as well. This is so delicious. I bought so many of these. It is Adam's since 1888 burgers, uh, fries, and more seasoning. See? Try it. Um, it's really the best um, on ground beef. I've had it on like hash, but it's like, uh, uh, like hash just regular. Uh, salt and pepper, but, um, yeah, so put that on your ground beef, add it to here. And then once this is all complete, throw in two bags of these, or you can get the wheat rice as well, the brown rice and yeah, just let it soak in there. Cause if it's just this and then the ground beef, it can be watery. But if you just throw two bags of this in here, cook this up, add that ground beef, you'll like meal prep for six, seven days. And it's so delicious. It's good for you as well. And I don't seem to ever retain that much water with this, even though like there's so much like salt in um, the ground beef and um, in this packet. It's weird because I've had my lowest weight on the scale eating this. So um, it's good for you. It's really, really good. And it's really tasty. If you love chili, you should try it. And then we have some rice aronis in the back. And then these are delicious. They're like a dollar at Walmart. Um, 
they're at Target as well. So they're about $4.80 per package. So me and my husband split it, but they're delicious. All you have to do is add a little bit of butter, a little bit of milk, and a little bit of water. It is so good. So the measurements, I always do one fourth cup less than what they ask for, just so it's not like too watery, because you know, the less water, the more flavor. Um, and they're so good. This is a real treat. We have croutons, and lately my favorites have been the Great Value ones. So these are from Walmart. They're uh, the Great Value ones, so they're brand, and they're less expensive as well, but they're so good. Um, so what I like about these is that they really look like the picture. Like sometimes you see the picture, you're like, oh, that'll look good, but then you open it and there's a lot of like, burnt ones, and you don't want like the burnt ones because it's gonna like ruin your flavor palette and your taste. But these, a lot of them, like most of them, like 99% of them look like the picture. So if you haven't tried the garlic seasoned butter flavored croutons or the Caesar croutons, you're really missing out. Like if you like croutons and these flavors, these are gonna be your go-tos. I always get them um, like three or four at a time and I don't know how many, maybe four salads? For per pack or five salads per pack. I'm I'm greedy with the, the croutons, I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna go a little ham when I have them. <laughs> I found um, this last time when I was at Kroger. It says thick and zesty spaghetti sauce seasoning mix. Um, don't go shopping when you're hungry, but I tend to always do that and then come home with some random stuff. But I have regular like spaghetti jars, but this looked really, really good. So I thought, let's try it. It's 25 calories per package in there. And um, I mean, it says it, it makes like a lot of servings there. It makes five and a half cup servings. But you know, this serving is, I mean, it'll probably last me two times eating this, not five and a half. So we gotta up the calories and um, just give it a go. Best if used by October 3rd of this year. <laughs> okay, what else can we see in the camera? Okay, so down here. Um, we have soups. We have tomato paste. There is some sweet corn, the white sweet corn and yellow. And then we have some Hunt's garlic and herb sauce here. So I haven't had these in ages, but again, don't go shopping when you're hungry because I came back with this. Um, I can't eat it till after the um, the 45 day weight loss muscle gaining challenge because of the sodium. So I'm trying to, um, you know, just water and stuff just to go through you and not hold on to too much extra water and have that water retention and all that for the final way. And then it can go a little bit, you know, a little bit crazy here. <laughs> And then we have another soup. This one is garden vegetable. And um, mm -mm. yeah, there's like corn, potatoes, beans in there, different kinds of beans. And just one of those, you know, that um, you heat up at the end of the night when you're hungry and you don't want to cook anything. I found some Quaker oats here that I've had for, I guess, ages. I mean, they expired November of last year. But I mean, how bad could it be if I really ate these now? There's not even that much in here, look. I don't even know how to measure this out. I mean, I should eat them. They're, they don't taste the best, but I did it when I did like another diet. Um, so I still wanna eat them, you know, even though they're like, what, six months old or something, five or six months old. <laughs> and it looks so good on the back. There's like almonds and then there's walnuts and then you see um, I guess that's cinnamon, uh, bananas, blueberries, and strawberries. These would all be really good ideas to eat it with because I just ate it regular and it was pretty bland and boring. But I mean, you eat it for the benefits, right? Try this again. Mm -hmm. And then um, what else can we see? Oh, is that it? Okay, well, um, the shelf below is gonna be olive oil. I have Pam spray for like when we do like cookies or when you do like baking. Um, there is some uh, flour down there. We had it for a science project. So we needed flour and sugar. So that's the only reason those are in here because I cannot bake. I will bake brownies, anything in the box, box cake, box brownies, I will slay all day. I can give you fudge, I can give you cake style. You just let me know and I will give it to you. Uh, but as far as just like baking a regular cake, no. I tried it once, There was it didn't taste sweet. There was like no sugar flavor in there and I put so much in there. I'm like, okay, this is it. I'm just not a baker, but I can bake anything in a box. So yes, let your girl know if you like any sweets, 
and I will make it happen. Um, but not too many though, because you know, I'm watching the calories. But um, also if you have like a Papa John's near you, you need to try their brownies. I'm obsessed with them. They have a delicious brownie uh, box. There's like nine pieces in there. They're so good and hot. You can eat them cold, warm, hot, heat them up the next day for four days. They're delicious. So the Papa John's brownies are like my favorite. They're like seven bucks or so, but they're so good. <laughs> And then underneath it, you're going to have um, Ziploc bags that have foil, um, that other kind of film paper that you put on for baking. There's large trash bags, regular trash bags. We have paper towels. Uh, there's protein standard down here. And then on this side, you have all the medicines. You're going to find Advil there. You're going to find Hell's Candies. I see Tums. Next to it is all of my seasonings, a whole box of seasonings. You're going to have um, like oregano, pepper, um, aromat salt. There's some, there's three bags of huge bags of almonds. I love um, the almonds from Costco because they're $8 and they're like this big. So you get a ton. Um, next to it is two cran raspberry juices. We have a white vinegar because we use it to clean. I think the washer, my husband does that. Um, we have the nut bars from Costco and they are so good. Guys, if you have a Costco membership, Try these, please. Thank me later. They're delicious. Almonds, cashews, pecans, and chocolate. They're so good. I want to say they're like 15 bucks, uh, but it is, oh my gosh, you're going to love them. We have a step stool down here. Uh, there's a cooler. And then we have these from Christmas time. These are amazing. So they're literally only out in December. Um, I found this one in Kroger, but you can find them in like a drugstore as well. It's Canada Dry Cranberry Ginger Ale. So I guess next time one of us has a tummy ache, we'll bust this baby open. But um, other than that, it's just sugar and I've missed the train and I don't want to eat too much sugar. But yeah, we have this. There's also two um, sparkling ciders down here because we had one, one was for Thanksgiving and, or Christmas, and then the other one was for my graduation, because I graduated last year. Yeah, woo <laughs> But yeah, so one's a sparkling red grape, and the other one is sparkling apple cranberry. So uh, we were gonna use one of them to celebrate, because we don't uh, drink alcohol really. Like, I'll like taste it, but, or like order something when I'm out, but I'll just have a sip and I won't drink it, so my husband will have to drink it, but he doesn't like it most of the time, but he'll drink it because we paid for it. Don't like beer, don't like alcohol. So when we go out, we'll do like a Shirley Temple or a Sprite um, for like fancy occasions, like at comedy bar, comedy bars, or um, that's pretty much it. We don't, or like when we go for pizza every now and then, which is so rare, just because you know, we're watching what we're eating and stuff. But other than that, it's just water, 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 water. Can't feel bad with water. Can't drink too much water either. Well, you can, but you know. No calories. <laughs> okay, let me put this back. Okay. And then next to it, you have one of my proteins as well. So that is it for the pantry. I guess there's not really much organization needed because there's not really that much in there and whatever's in there is like in a set of like three or four. So it's just like, you know, just in there nicely and not messy. <laughs> We have some balsamic vinegar over here. Um, I see some Kalamatas pitted. I love them. We have some um, marinade for chicken, which I don't think we're gonna use. Um, we just bought it because we were hungry. See what happens. Uh, there's some uh, Olive Garden dressing in here, barbecue sauce, and yeah, we have coffee, tea and sugar. You can't see them, but they're little, little jars. See, the little lids, cute. And then uh, it says farmer's market. I got that from the apartment. And then these are little coasters as well, just to keep up like with the theme. And then cereals, you're gonna have your Honey Nut Cheerios. <laughs> I'll eat them every morning, just like four bites of it. And then I'll head to the gym. No milk, just in a cup. And I'll just take like, you know, a um, couple sips. I mean, couple sips, couple bites. And then we have mini wheats here. We have two of those. Those are good for like late night snacks if you want like cookies or chips, um, some sweet, just have those. Don't have too much because it has so much fiber in there and definitely don't have them if you need to go somewhere the next day, like a wedding, the gym, 
um, to work early or something. You, you just never know. Be well, maybe that's just me because I have like uh, so many, like two bowls full. So just keep, be mindful of that. And then we have the Lucky Charms here. It is the Dragon Marshmallow Edition. It's so yummy. They're actually kind of stale, but <laughs> still eating them. <laughs> just when I want that sugary fix, you know, just a little bit, just a little bit, you know. And then my husband's favorite, which I got him onto this, which is Honey Bunches of Oats with Almonds. You have to get the ones with almonds. We love almonds. Well, I do at least. He wouldn't, he wouldn't eat an almond nut, but he would eat this. <laughs> and then the basket next to it is going to be, um, you'll see a wine that we got when we moved in for our house. Um, which of course it's still there. <laughs> and then next to it is going to be a fire extinguisher, which we should really read because like if something happened, like there's no time for reading directions. You need to be ready to go. Behind it is some vodka for our house opening party three years ago. We haven't touched it since. So I guess we should bring it to the next party we go to because we're not going to be drinking it. I don't know. I just don't like it. Um, mm -mm -mm. and that's it. You guys, <laughs> this is my pantry. Sorry if it was a little ranty or boring. I just, I'm like, let me film something today. And I thought this pantry could be a good talking point. <laughs> but thank you for hanging out with me, you guys. It's always a pleasure to see you guys. Uh, let me know what you want to see next. I think I'm going to make a shake. I'll probably put like a, a random video together of like a bunch of other movies that I had too. Just like of little things like I have one at Kroger, like with a Squishmallow. Squishmallow, I think they're called. And then there's um, there's one playing with Lucky Charms. I always like, I like take little clips or like walking through a house or like a, a opening of um, a Funko for my husband. I take like little clips and when the videos are too short, sometimes I'll like just put it together like a huge conglomerate of videos there. Just like something, just like stuff I just want to put out and want you to see. And it's like, it's just a journal you know, just like a journal of what I do and in my life and yeah, just stuff I think would be cool to just like put on the internet, I guess. I don't know. But as always, it's always a pleasure seeing you. Just tell me what you want to see um, in the comments and yeah, I will report back and I hope you have a great day. Today is Tuesday. I'm trying to get this out by, so I have something coming out tomorrow already. Um, just this week, Thursday or Friday this one or like the random um, accumulation of all the videos will be on Thursday and Friday. But thank you guys so much for even caring and tuning in and let me stop. Let me stop because I can be talking for days. But I love you guys so much and thank you so much for tuning in. Bye.